The company's amendment bill was introduced in Lok Sabha on December 20th, 2018. It replaces the company's amendment ordinance which was promulgated on November 2nd, 2018. The bill amends the Companies Act 2013 in relation to offences and penalties under the act. The bill shifts certain powers from the courts to the central government. For example, the 2013 act contains 81 compoundable offences which are heard by courts. Compounding is a settlement process where the court can order the defaulting party to pay a compounding fee and settle the case. The bill recategorizes 16 of these compoundable offences as civil defaults, where adjudicating officers may now levy penalties instead. These offences include if a company issues shares at a discount or fails to file its annual returns. Similarly, under the Act, the regional director can compound offences with a penalty of up to five lakh rupees. All offences where the maximum fine prescribed is more than five lakh rupees are compounded by the National Company Law Tribunal. The bill increases this monetary jurisdiction of the regional director from five lakhs to twenty-five lakh rupees. Another change brought about by the bill is in relation to shifting the power to approve certain changes from the NCLT to the central government. Under the Act, change in period of financial year for a company that is associated with a foreign company has to be approved by the NCLT. Similarly, any alteration in the incorporation document of a public company, which has the effect of converting it to a private company, has to be approved by the NCLT. Under the bill, these powers have been transferred to the central government. The bill also makes the punishment for certain offences more stringent. For instance, under the Act, if a person holds beneficial interest of at least 25% shares in a company or has significant influence or control over the company, he is required to make a declaration of his beneficial interest. If a person does not declare this interest, he can be punished with a fine between one lakh rupees and ten lakh rupees, along with a continuing fine. The bill now introduces imprisonment for the offences and provides that a person may now be fined or imprisoned for up to one year or both. The bill also punishes repeat offenders. If a company or any other person commits a default again within three years of the previous default, the entity will be liable to twice the penalty as provided for such default. For for more information, please visit www.prsindia.org.